everyone, and welcome to another fabulous episode of How Many Tabs Are Open on Mr. Jones' Computer. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Twelve tabs, a um, couple pages of stuff to do. It looks like basically they are giving us different representations of numbers, and we will fill out the rest. So um, some of them are in number form, some of them are in fraction form, um, well, number form, decimal. And then some of them look like they are in word form word form, word form, and then finally pictorial. All right, so um, let's take a look at the first one, seven hundredths. We have zero tenths and seven hundredths, so I don't really know how this works. Let's find out. So we're supposed to drag it. Oh, okay, you just make it as big as you want. There we go. So um, when you move the box, it'll cover up um, however many spaces. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven hundredths. We're writing it as a fraction. Seven hundredths. And then remember, as the word, the THS is the important part. So seven. And then you just write the word hundred. There we go. Seven hundredths. Seven hundredths. Seven hundredths. Seven hundredths. So there's a bunch of different versions of seven hundredths. Let's take a look at the next one. We have three tenths, three tenths. So what we're gonna do is there's one tenth, two tenths, three tenths. So just drag that open. There's three tenths. If I'm making a decimal, I have a three in the tenths place. And then same thing. Remember the THS, three tenths. Boom. I'm good. All right, so we got three tenths, three tenths, three tenths, and three tenths represented. I'm gonna do one more example, and then um, I think you got this one. Um, you're you you should be in good shape um, with these. So let me make sure there's not one that's like super complicated. Does not look like there is. Okay, so um, sixty hundredths. Let's do one more. Um, sixty hundredths means that there we are dealing with hundredths, but. Since it's 60 hundredths, that means that the 6 is in the tenths place and there's a 0 in the hundredths place. That makes 60 hundredths. Remember, 60 hundredths is like 60 cents, right? So you could simplify that to 6 tenths, of course. 60 hundredths is the same thing as 6 tenths if we took off that 0 or if we took off this 0 and this 0. And then, uh, oops. And then we're going to stretch this out so it's six tenths because it's sixty hundredths. So there's one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths. Ba boom. All right. <clears throat> so there's three pages. Go ahead and do the other three yourself. Um, you got this. You got this. Um, and then finally, let's go ahead and take a look at the last thing for today, which is your exit ticket. Um, it should be the same idea. Same stuff. Same stuff. Decimal and fraction review. Explain how the three, uh, the values three tenths, thirty hundredths, and three hundred thousandths are alike, and how they are different. Remember, we're talking three tenths, thirty hundredths, or three hundred thousandths. Um, remember that basically, if we put emoji zeros on these two, it would look like this one. Or if we took off zeros on these two, it would look like this one. So they all have the same value but they have different, um, a different smallest place value. This one's smallest place value is 10, this one is hundredths, this one is thousandths. Um, match to the equivalent value. So remember these are mixed numbers, so just read them out loud, two and 47 hundredths. All right, which one of these is two and 47 hundredths? This is two and 47 thousandths, so pick the answer that's two and 47 thousandths. All right. So just say the number out loud and choose the fraction that matches. And that should be it. So um, happy second to last day of school. Uh, we'll see you at 930 for your celebration. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. Um, and yeah, we'll see you later. Bye. Oops, I lost my button. See you later. Bye.